So, January just gone, I ventured to Seville with my cousin Yasmin. We walked around a palace, took a flamenco dance lesson, but most importantly, tried some fantastic dishes. One of those dishes was espinacas con garbanzos, aka chickpeas with spinach. And today, I'm gonna to show you how to make it. So, I know what you're thinking, chickpeas and spinach, too simple. But trust me, this is an incredibly versatile dish. Not only can you have it as a side, or chucking it in a wrap, but you can also have it as a hearty main with two slices of bread to mop up all those delicious juices. Trust me, this is super tasty. So, let's get started. Olive oil, add your spinach, cook until the spinach is wilted. Two more tablespoons of olive oil. We want to throw in our garlic. We're going to add one heaped teaspoon of ground cumin. And then cayenne pepper to your taste. Depends on how spicy you want it, you know? Add the breadcrumbs. Well, the bread cubes, should I say? Okay, then you want to add some almonds. And wait for them to toast. It would be a Spanish dish without a bit of saffron. So we're going to put all our ingredients into here. I mean, if you've got sherry vinegar, that's nicer. I only had red wine vinegar, so you can use that. Two generous tablespoons. And just get a hand blender and start blending. Oil up the pan. And here that sizzle. In Spanish, our garbanzos. We want to add our mixture. Now, I would say about half a tin of chopped tomatoes. Then we want to add our spinach. Okay, so we just want to add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Pimenta, which is was like smoked paprika. Dolce means sweet, so I actually got this stuff in Seville because this is everywhere. Anywhere you go in, in Spain. I, mean, I love this stuff. It tastes so good. It really creates that lovely smoky flavour to your food, like smoky sweet. Oh god, this is gonna be so good. What I then like to do is sprinkle just some almond nuts over the top which I just crushed, really simple. And this is just a nice garnish. A little bit of Greek yogurt on the side, mixing the Greek and the Spanish together. It's all Mediterranean. And then just as a little extra thing, sprinkle a little bit of pimento over the top. Extra seasoning. What you need to do is just tear off some bread and dig it. Oh. Sangria on the side. 